So today is Arm Training 101. This 101 series is just basic information on how to build and sculpt certain different muscles. You know, entering the gym for the first time or if you want to refresh your course, these are the ones you want to check out. These are workouts that I always fall back to. Um, I feel like they're the basic workouts that got me to where I am and they're important for me to, to work in. So I kind of wanted to give you guys the 101 training that uh, you know I think is very necessary. But before we start, mix up my Platinum Pre. I'm out of amino energy right now, so I did a half scoop of Platinum Pre. Um, don't need a ton for arm day. If it was leg day, I'd probably get a whole scoop or maybe a scoop and a half. But just finished up at the Dallas Europa last week. It was amazing to meet all of you guys. Saw so many Soldier Nation shirts down there. It was really, really awesome. But uh, we're about six weeks out from the Olympia. Getting lean and getting mean. Today's a low carb day, so I'm a little bit ornery, so don't piss me off. Um, but as you can see, I got my my tackle box, so my duffel bag full of my, my products. I got my beta alanine here that I mixed in. My six pack bag comes everywhere with me. This is just how I roll. Um, I know we haven't been doing a ton of vlogs lately. We're gonna start doing more of those. But anyhow, grab your little black books. Um, Thank you so much for giving me feedback on what you guys want to see more on on, uh, on Steve Cook Health. We're going to try to come out with a, a Swolger Nation book, maybe a phone case. But anyhow, let's hit some arms today. I'm going to talk, talk you through uh, how to develop genetically the fullest potential out of your arms. Let's do it. This is the Raspberry Lemonade. If you guys haven't heard, we just came out with that Twisted Apple. But I'll tell you what. I know it's gonna be a, a good pump today. When you got that Platinum Pre coming in. But, uh, oh, I was gonna tell you guys, thank you for the recommendation. I got my Jaybirds, um, they're wireless. I leave my phone in my bag now, which means no more broken, no more broken uh, iPhone. I've done that a couple times. I'll tell you what, these, I went and did my hit cardio with the other day. They're perfect. They just slide right behind your ear. I would never have known about these if it wasn't for you guys. So the Jaybirds, I don't know which edition I got. I think it's the Blue Jays. I don't know. It's the they were pretty expensive, I'm not gonna lie. But they're worth it because it means I'm saving my phone. And I like how it, it talks to me too. It tells me when the battery's low. All in all, I just feel like a badass man wearing. All right, let's get let's get warmed up. Whew. I'll tell you what, too. Uh, big shout out to those in Texas. I know I said it already. It was good meeting you guys, but first, one of the first people I met shed a tear. Made gave me goosebumps. Made me want to shed a tear too. But uh, I realized that. Soldier Nation, it's bigger than me, it's bigger than any one person. It's a, we're family here. And as you know, as this grows and as the Olympia gets closer, I just can't wait to meet so many more of you and to uh, just, you know, I get inspired from you guys and we'll bring more people on, Soldier Ed's like Katie. And it's just, it's about being um, a family, a big fitness group that we can all have fun, learn from one another, and just grow. Um, so, you know, definitely I'm always looking to, for improvements whether it's on the site or just whatever you guys want to see, we'll get our, uh, we'll do our best to, to definitely make it possible, especially when I'm not low carb. But I, I'm carb cycling right now. Um, today's only 170 grams, which is low for me. Tomorrow though, I gotta go up to 260, so we'll see how this bicep pump goes, but you know, everyone wants big biceps. Along with, uh, you know, big old chest. You know, when you see bodybuilders, you think big old arms. Arnold Schwarzenegger, big old 20 plus arms. Uh, 
For those wondering, my arm's about 19. Don't know if I'll ever hit that 20 mark. That's okay, because we're keeping things proportional. I'm gonna just get a quick, quick little warm up here. Get that, uh, get that temperature, that core temperature up. It's arms, so I'm not gonna worry too much about stretching out other areas. Arms are pretty basic, but um, this is gonna be my basic, basic arm training that I did to grow my arms. Uh, I always looked up to Arnold, but when we start talking about arms, uh, you know, we talk about bicep length. Hey, oh, there goes my water. Bicep peak, width, um, and then you have two different heads in the biceps. Um, so we have to work using you know, different exercises to work both heads of the bicep. And the triceps, the triceps now, they're a three-headed muscle. And everyone when we talk about arms, I imagine these biceps. Well, the thing you gotta remember, triceps are two-thirds of your arm, and biceps are just one-third. So when you look at an arm, if you want a big arm, a 20-inch arm, most of it, two-thirds of it, is gonna be tricep. But you know, everyone loves that big peak that you know you get when you do bicep curls. Um, but you know, just like anything else, arms are big. You know, big genetic factors come in. We start talking about arms. Everyone has their good body parts. But today, we're gonna do an exercise for size. Um, make sure one we do one for shape, and then also for length. So it's just your basic overall arm developer. You might uh, have a little refresher here, get warmed up. Meet me, me over at the barbell curls. Not in the squat crap today though. shouldn't have to get yourself too pumped up for arms. Everyone else training them, they're a small muscle group. They recover pretty fast. Um, you know, I would say, as a beginner, start training them once a week. Use the priority principle. Um, today, we're training biceps first. So you can, as we move on, we'll talk about how you can superset arms, which I do a lot. But for today's purposes, just this one-on-one -on -one training, we're gonna be hitting those biceps first. Starting off with just a basic barbell, barbell curls for size. So, biceps is to, to bring the forearm towards the body. Um, we're gonna talk a little bit more about form on you know, keeping your elbows tied to you, making sure it's the bicep working and not the anterior delt. Let's get a little warm up here. So just starting out, shoulder width, elbows locked to the side. I'm never gonna lock out my elbows when I do biceps because I always want the tension on them. So I'm gonna stop about right there. Second warm up set. Hard having you guys here on arm day because my camera guy stands right in front of the mirror so I can't see my biceps. It's so difficult. Second movement, we're going incline dumbbell curl. Now this is gonna really work on the length of that bicep. Um, another exercise you can do if you don't like the incline dumbbell curl, or you just wanna give a switch things up, preacher curl. Just break the other side. I'm gonna turn them down. Use a zotomy curl. Turn them down on the other side and stretch this. So I'm gonna do this one up here. Really look at the form with the pinkies. Coming all the way out and then turning it back. And I usually like to do these, these standing, but you see a lot of people in the gym doing them seated like this. I think it's just preference. Like I get a better stretch and contraction maybe just because I'm pumping iron, that's how Arnold does them. So I've always done them like that. I know Dorian Yates does them like this. 
But again, feel free to switch up. Try them, you know, try them with cables one day. Lying, lying flat on a bench, have the cable above you and do them like that. Or on the spider curls where you lay face down on an incline curling. I like those a lot as well. All right, now we're moving on to a larger portion of the arms, triceps. Um, triceps, stronger, stronger for me than my biceps. It should be. Like I said, it's a three-headed muscle. Um, it's gonna you know, train it from a lot of different angles, over the head, extensions. Um, the first one we're gonna be using is the skull crusher. School crushers, you can either use just a straight bar like I'm going to today, or you can use an easy bar. I just like to use a straight bar because I can find it easier. I can change my grip wherever I want. I don't lock it out at 90 degrees. I keep the tension on it by, by keeping it at about 80, 80 degrees, and then it's back down. Bam. I'm sure Ronnie Coleman, if you ever used to see one of these, you'd think all, all my uh, heaviest sets are I just warm up sets, so there's always someone stronger than you. Speaking of Ronnie Coleman, here we go. I wait! <laughs> Again, the most important thing on this one is the stretch. All, can't, I can't go down any further. That's as far as I can go down. And then all the way up to the top, not locking out right there. Keeping the tension on the tricep, off that elbow joint. Always see what, what angles you look best from in the mirror. Practicing that posing, can't ever practice too much. Cable extension. It could be a rope, it could be a straight bar, it could be a reverse straight bar, or like I'm going to do today, I'm going to do a single attachment reverse cable extension. That's it, fellas. Soldiers and soldierettes. Should have said ladies in there, too. That's our basic arm training. Should have a great pump going right now. It was a total of, what was that, about? Right around 12, 12 sets for biceps, 12, 12 sets for triceps. We didn't do a whole lot of the shocking principles like drop sets, rest pauses, force negatives, 21s. Um, these are all things I really like to do, um, especially as we get more advanced and into competition training. But that right there, we did exercises to build mass, to lengthen, we did um, isolation movements. So it's really, it's going to give you a nice base for your biceps, your triceps. It's going to set you up for that foundation that you're going to need to build on. Um, again, don't neglect any body parts, people. And I can't stress that enough. It's all about balance. So really easy to get carried away with arms. You want to do them if, you know, as often as you can. Make sure you're training things like legs and calves, everything else as much as you do with arms. I remember being in high school, you know, 16 years old, I had a set of my 25, 25 pound dumbbells. I think I did push-ups and bicep curls every night. It was one of those things that uh, I just loved doing because, you know, I didn't have a squat rack. I ended up doing those all the time. So, you know, it was good, but then, you know, I had to spend time bringing up those other, other body parts. Anyhow, that is it. Today's episode of arms. I got no definition in here right now because we're just Full. We should go, we should go uh, test how big they are. I'm thinking right 
right around 19. I get asked that a lot, but um, time to go get some carbs. I mean, post workout, pre workout, post workout, so we get on the carbs. I already did some cardio this morning, so I gotta get out of here. We'll see you guys next time. So,